I want to play a clip for you today from C-SPAN. Now, C-SPAN is not a place where you necessarily expect the most sort of unhinged political discussions. C-SPAN generally does a good job of moderating relatively sober and respectful discussion, even when kind of kooky people call in, they tend to do a pretty good job with it. Well, during the show Washington Journal on C-SPAN recently, there was a caller from Tennessee and that caller called in upset that there were minorities on his TV screen giving opinions. And he said he doesn't like it. He wants to go back to the way things kind of used to be. And for those who are only listening to this clip, there's an Asian guy and a black woman who are on the panel on Washington Journal. And the guy is Nicholas Wu from Politico. The woman is Ebony McMorris from the American Urban Radio Network. And uh, take a look at this and then we'll discuss it. This is really something. Comment for them, please. When I was a little boy, listen, I'm 83 years old. When I was a little boy, the color I think people, that, by the way, I think the caller is a man, although although maybe not. I don't know. OK, we're going to stop it there. Let's go to Nancy. Apologies oh, for whoops. that. I'm sorry. And I and I didn't even start it at the beginning. Let's go to the beginning. I apologize. Current things here in America that's going on, particularly in the press and the, the politics of America. I want to know if uh, we could cut out some of this, if we could cut out some of these uh, these liberal things that are going on in America, just like in, on the TV now, we have uh, two minorities, and I'm not against you minorities. I'm 83 years Call old. Caller, that's, that's, that shouldn't be a factor in the guests that we invite to our program, which we did invite. So what's your question or comment for them, please? When I was a little boy, listen, I'm 83 years old. When I was a little boy, the colored people here. Okay, we're going to stop it there. Let's go to Nancy. Apologies for that. Nancy. Uh, the colored people are bothering this 83 year old man or woman. Now, I know many people will react to this by saying this is an 83 year old. These are not common views. Well, the issue here is that. Uh, these are actually relatively these are more common views than we would like to admit. But a lot of younger people realize you can't say that out loud. You're not supposed to out loud say I'm really bothered by all these non white people I'm seeing in movies and on television. And they even sometimes just call it woke. I mean, woke for some people has become a, a, a paraphrase in a sense for I'm seeing a lot of liberals with different identities uh, participating and being allowed to give opinions. And I don't like that. Now, Ebony McMorris, who was the, the, the black woman on the panel, she tweeted after the fact, quote, I was trying to hold it in, but I promise you, I felt all my ancestors rush through my body. Nicholas Wu was right. Pedro was a master at intercepting that next time the response may be different. And this is really, you know, the person says, I don't I don't have a problem with minorities. What they're kind of saying is I'm not a racist. I just don't want minorities on my TV screen giving me political opinions. I don't want too many minorities in my government or in my neighborhood or in the same waiting rooms as me type of moment. And what really makes me kind of sad, it bums me out. The looks on the faces of the guests there's a bit of a I've dealt with this before sort of look. And that is that that's that's sad. It really is. And so when we talk about, well, when they say that they're conservative, what do they want to conserve or what do, what, what do they want to go back to? Because for many of them, they believe we've already gone too far. They want conserving means actually let's go back. We often say vaguely, well, they want to go back to sort of the 50s, right, where, yes, there were minorities around, but they were much more it was much more OK to openly say these are second tier people. They're not like us. Yes, women were around, but they were much more uh, stringently subservient to men. They're talking about the 50s. And if this is an 83 year old caller, 1955, they would have been about 16 years old. That is exactly what they are kind of thinking back to. And this is different. This is what, what is also fascinating is because of the Trump era, we're really used to the neo reactionary cartoonish conservative JFK Jr. still alive and QAnon and this type of stuff. This is much more the 1950s conservative 
that we would see a lot more like in the Bush era when they would talk about the moral majority and getting back to God and Christianity and all these different things. That's this caller. This is not really it, it doesn't sound to me a Trumpist neo neo reactionary. It's more of of that. And it's quite sad. And it's still around 83 years old, but it's still around. Send me your thoughts. You can find me on Twitter at D Pacman. We'll take a quick break and be right back. One of our sponsors is the Daily Upside, a free business and finance newsletter providing actionable insights to make you a more well-rounded investor. The Daily Upside is one of my go to's just for keeping up with finance. It really is a must read. And the Daily Upside was founded by a team of journalists and scholars. Every weekday, Daily Upside delivers interesting and engaging stories to give you context on the most important financial news of the day. It's a five minute read. It's great. It's witty. It's insightful. It's really worth five minutes every morning for me. Plus, once a week, they publish a deep dive newsletter unpacking a more complex business trend or giving you some domain expertise in an easy to understand voice. As someone who has to stay up on current events to produce my show, I really can't recommend the Daily Upside enough. And there's a reason why 300,000 people subscribe to the Daily Upside and start their mornings with it. Go subscribe right now for free at davidpackman.com slash upside. The link is underneath the video.